yeah, apparently New York Times and CNN have been doing a big feature lately on how QAnon is somehow big in Japan. Um, now, look, there are there are nuts in Japan, um, you know, and, and, and 127 million people. So, you know, if you're going to get certain, and if you want to find, I mean, you can find even on YouTube people who wear MAGA hats and claim to be Trump supporters and whatnot. If you go looking for them, um, you can find them every street corner, not every street corner, but you, you can see the, um, you know, the religious cult people on corners. You can see the anti-vax, you know, um, four or five Aussie sons standing in uh, Shibuya saying that, you know, they're going to turn us into 5G tent poles just because these people are there. And this is a, the same thing with the right wingers as well. People see right wingers in front of stations and they, oh, they must be really big in Japan. And no, they're standing in front of the stations because they are fringe and they're desperate for attention. So if you go looking for anything in Japan, if you wanted to find, you know, any fringe conspiracy, you, you'll find a supporter for it in Japan because Japan just has a lot of shut in, uh, you know, nerd weirdos. It's 127 million people. So, yeah, CNN pointed out that there are some accounts in Japan that, uh, that, 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 you know, sort of uh, um, promote QAnon. Um, now, most people in Japan, why would you give a shit about the idea that Donald Trump is a superhero saving the world, you know? from from the american deep state who gives a crap seriously like why would anyone care of course there are people who are, who, who who would care and maybe get into it as like some sort of a fringe hobby or something like that but the idea that QAnon is big in japan and that this is being promoted by new york times and cnn this is what drives me crazy about reporting about japan is that you get you know again this wouldn't be this wouldn't pass a, a fact check in any other country, but you can get away with it for Japan because Japan is still so mysterious and weird and people believe anything that you say about it. And when you publish crap like this, this is why I don't trust CNN anymore. And it drives me crazy, not just because I, I enjoy reading news and I, I, I like to see good quality reporting and not just cheap, um, lazy crap like this, which is all that CNN's become the last 20 years. But the other thing that drives me crazy about it is that then it becomes a tool when you have the people who come out and point at them and say, oh, look at them, they're the fake news, you know, and, and they actually want to promote mistrust of information uh, and news. Um, these people are enabling that they're, they're, by putting out actual fake news, you know, they're actually allowing and they're allowing, they're putting themselves in the position to be abused for that because they're doing it. Uh, and that's what drives me crazy about this. I mean, you know, I'm sure if you want to find, um, you know, if you want to find buddy um, you know, Manson family fans in Japan. I'm sure you could find a couple. I'm sure you could find, you know, uh, fans of, of cannibalism. You could find anything. and you could be, But the idea of putting a story, finding like a couple of people and saying that it's big in Japan happens too often and it annoys me. So that's a thing. Uh, <laughs> Steve from Berkeley. To think QAnon is a thing in the U.S. is equally BS. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, well, let's... Let me put it this way, you're not going to see the Diet getting raided like it's been before by people wearing t-shirts with that written on it, um, but but yeah, uh, again, you could sit from here and certainly get the impression that like 75 million Americans believe in it, which I know isn't representative of most people who vote for Republicans, but you know, um, yeah, this is part of the big problem, I guess.